Darnell Washington isn't even 22 yet. He turns 22 on the 17th of August and they put him up against TJ Watt in practice and he won two times. I think he even put him on the ground is what the report said. That is absolutely insane, but a part of me isn't surprised because Darnell Washington just has the most like beyond talented genetics, right? You look at his hands, massive. If he holds a Gatorade, it just looks like a pencil. You look at his frame, the dude is going to come in and maybe in year one be the best blocking tight end in the NFL. Like he could be that good and I definitely wouldn't be surprised at all. So there's this thing where it's like, will Gentry start over him? No, let me just end that right there. That's not happening because Darnell Washington is just too talented to not be on the field. And I like Zach Gentry a lot. I've said tons of good things about him in the past, but when it comes to the potential of a Darnell Washington, you want to play him. You want him to make mistakes early and often so you get those out of the way because once he hits that full potential, once he can become like an efficient pass catcher where he doesn't have that many drops because he actually did have quite you know, a few drops in college. I wouldn't say a lot, but there's times on tape where you say, all right, well, he needs to work on his hands. So if Darnell Washington can get that down packed where you can just throw a lob to him in the red zone and you know he's not going to drop it, he can be a reliable target. I mean, that might be the best red zone offense with George Pickens, Darnell Washington. Man, all the Georgia boys are really taking over. But Pat Fryermuth as well. You can add Zach Gentry in there because he's a big boy. You got Deontay Johnson. You got all these guys who can do work in tight spaces. So wait, pause. And honestly, I see Matt Canada using a lot of three tight end packages with Darnell Washington, Gentry, and Fryermuth, and maybe slipping Fryermuth out the back on a play action when you run it so much and it's effective for the ground game. There's a lot of things that you can do. Connor Hayward's probably going to move to fullback now. That Monty Potter bomb retired three days into his career. We all know how odd that was but you got a very talented tight end room so it'll be fun to see how Canada utilizes these guys I know for a fact if it's third down and one just put Najee or Jalen Warren in there Washington Firemuth and Gentry as your tight ends with the O-line the picket fence I mean it's pretty simple no more pitch tosses to tight ends just run the football with the tight ends blocking but let me know what y'all think about Darnell Washington putting TJ Watt on the ground and where does this tight end room stack up compared to the rest of the league hopefully y'all enjoyed this video though that is it for me on this one peace